the welcome video for Calc 3. Uh, I'm your instructor, Dr. Scott Spaniel. Um, and this video is just to run you through all the things you need to know for this course. Um, if you've been in Blackboard for the last few weeks or so, a lot of this will be review, but I just want to make sure we're all on the same page as we get started here for the semester. So this uh, is the first place you should come to. Uh, it's what your Blackboard course should look like. Um, for me to get to this, uh, I go to Pearson. Uh, I go to my um, my.morton.edu and sign in, and I get a page that looks something like this. Uh, and then you can click on this to get Blackboard access, and then you can choose the course you're looking for. So for us, that is um, Calculus Three. So um, what we're looking at here is what your the course should look like um, from your perspective. So there's a number of things. Hopefully, uh, you're already doing on here. Um, the first of these is you want to make sure um, you read the syllabus, uh, and we'll talk more about the syllabus here in a little bit. Uh, we'll just run through this kind of together. Uh, it occurs to me that one of my prereqs, uh, the prereqs here, aren't written exactly correctly. Um, the second thing is you want to make sure you sign up for a Remind. So we'll all be using the Remind app throughout the semester to send out reminders about assignments, due dates, all that kind of stuff. So make sure you sign up for that. Uh, as part of our class, you can just click here and input uh, for me I think it's gonna no nope, good it showed up like it will for you uh, you put in your first and last name and then either a phone number if you'd like to receive these messages via text or an email address if you'd like to get them uh, via text message um, the next thing is my math lab so I want y'all we're gonna be using my math lab for pretty much all the assignments so to sign up for my math lab course if you haven't done so already you can just copy and paste Copy um, this My Math Lab access code. Click on the My Lab and Mastering page uh, link. And in my case, I'm already signed in, so it went to this page. But in your case, if you haven't signed in yet, it will take you through um, a. Uh, it'll take you through the steps to access the course. You shouldn't have to pay anything for the course at this point. It's already part of your course fees, and this is the access code. Uh, that'll allow you to do that. And then uh, this is also kind of a misnomer. There's a little problem here because I it occurs to me that I copied and pasted this, so I'll edit this uh, here in a second. But the next thing you want to do is go to week one, and you can start looking at uh, what your assignments look like and what the different weeks uh, are going to look like. Um, just a couple uh, other things here. Um, I've got a statement of land acknowledgement here, so it's important, uh, even in a math class, for us to remember um, that the land we're all sitting on right now was not originally um, settled by us. Uh, and so this is just a statement about the land that we're currently sitting on um, here in the uh, Cicero and other parts of central Illinois, the land that was traditionally uh, the home of the Kickapoo, Peoria, Potawatomi, Miami, and Sioux uh, nations. Uh, I've got links down here to my virtual office hours, so I'll be doing virtual office hours um, each week, and those will be um, by uh, Google Meets on Tuesday and Thursdays. I will definitely be in those office hours on Wednesdays. Uh, please let me know if you'd like to meet during those times, um, because uh, I don't have any classes on those days, so if no one wants to meet, then I that gives me a little more free time to work on other stuff. I'm also available outside of those times by appointment. If none of those times work for you, just send me an email or a remind message and we can try to set up another time that works for both of us uh, to meet. Um, I'm available all the time, all, almost all the time. Uh, I can make something work usually or find a time. So just let me know and I'll do my best uh, to make it work out. Down here is more information about me, my email address, uh, and then a little statement about who I am. So one note on this who I am thing uh, that I'll have more details for as we go later in the semester. Uh, my wife is expecting um, in November, so I will be leaving on paternity leave for the end of the semester. Um, and so all that will change is you'll have, I've got the course all the way set up. So instead of contacting me for office hours, uh, you'll be going to a different instructor for office hours and um, for uh, any of your email responses, any of your questions. And so um, that part of the course, um, you'll just have another instructor. You'll know who that is ahead of time uh, once I get that all settled out, um, and they'll be available for you. 
So let's go ahead and go into the syllabus. So you guys all have the syllabus here. Um, uh, there's a description of what we're going to do. You've got my contact info. We're online. There are no meeting times. You've got my office hours. We just saw that. Um, this is what the course catalog uh, is what we're going to cover in this course um, for the most part. And then this is the um, prerequisites for this course. So there were two ways to get in this course. Uh, either you pat, uh, got a three or better on the AP Calc BC exam or you already took Math 202, which is Calc 2. And then here are our learning objectives uh, for this class. Basically what we're going to be talking about um, is three-dimensional graphing and vectors. And then we're also going to talk about... Um, how to do calculus in three dimensions. So a lot of the stuff you've already learned how to do in Calcs 1 and 2, we're going to expand it to three dimensions and beyond. The text is listed here. It is optional. You do not have to have the textbook because we're going to be doing everything in my math lab, and that includes a version of the e-text. There is tutoring available. Uh, for more information on tutoring, give them a call at the college. The college campus is open, um, so you can go in and physically meet with a tutor. And then this is my instructional method. So this is an online course taught asynchronously, meaning um, that each week you have a number of different assignments to complete at your own pace. And those assignments uh, will be accompanied by video lectures and other resources that you can review at your own pace to learn the material. So you can choose during the week when to do your learning. Um, with a couple of exceptions. So these resources have been either created by me or curated by me. And in addition to these resources, you will be required to interact with your instructor and classmates through the discussion posts where you will discuss the course material. And in a minute, we'll look a little bit more at what that looks like. But in order to make this course more interactive, uh, like a traditional course would be, what we want to do is we want to be able to talk about what things we're struggling with. Um, and we're going to do that through discussion posts. And we'll look at what that's going to look like here in a minute. Um, in this course, you're going to be evaluated in a number of ways. All assignments, uh, except the final exam and discussion posts, are going to be due at Sunday at 11.59 p.m. So your first week's assignments will be due this coming Sunday at 11.59 p.m. And all of our assignments are going to take place online, either in Blackboard or on my math lab. So there will be tests. So at the end of each chapter, you'll have an online test. Um, you will have one attempt on each test, and there will be no makeups for a missed test, and any missed test will score as a zero. Uh, I know things happen and you may not get around to all of the tests, so I drop your lowest test score at the end of the semester. So you get one break. Then there's the final. So the final will be comprehensive and account for 30% of the final course grade. The final exam is due on Wednesday, December 16th at 11.59 p.m. So that's when the course will end, Wednesday, December 16th at 11.59 p.m. Each week uh, that there is not a test, you'll have a quiz that covered the topics from that week. You'll have three attempts on each quiz, and your highest uh, score will count towards your grade. There are no makeups for quizzes, but your lowest three quiz grades will be dropped at the end of the semester. Then we'll also have my math lab uh, section assignments. So each week, we'll, you will have several section assignments. Each section will have two assignments. The first assignment will include different multimedia links and easier problems to introduce you to the topic. Uh, so this is kind of the... Uh, normal what we would do in class assignment if this wasn't an online class. That's the first assignment. And then the second assignment uh, will include more difficult problems to build up your understanding. So this is your more traditional homework assignment. Any section problems not completed by the due date can be completed for 75% credit up until the due date of the final exam. So if you miss any homework assignments, you can go back and do those for partial credit. And then, as I mentioned, the last um, Part of this class will be Blackboard discussion. So each week you will be required to participate in the online discussion. There is no partial credit for this discussion. So you either get credit for doing it uh, satisfactorily or you don't. To receive credit for participating in the discussion, you must create at least one thread and respond to at least two classmates' threads. Details on acceptable threads and comments can be found in the Blackboard discussion, and we'll look at that in a moment. The goal of this is to help you and your classmates work on the homework and learn the topic. So you need to post your initial thread by Wednesdays at 11.59 p.m., which means you really need to have started at least some of the section assignments by Wednesday, and you need to have done at least two comments by Friday at 11.59 p.m. These discussions are not very useful if you're going on and you're posting and commenting uh, at 11 p.m. on Sunday. Uh, by that point, the assignments are almost all due, 
uh, and you don't have really time to add extra learning. So the idea here is to get you um, building up and discussing these things throughout the week. And this is the minimum you need to do. If you want to go beyond this, that's great. If you want to have further discussions, post more questions you have questions about, comment on more people's uh, posts, that's great. Um, but this is the minimum you need to do to receive credit each week. Now, to encourage you to do all these things I've listed here, um, I have what I call my student learning contract. So if you get a 90% uh, or higher average on the Blackboard discussions, if you have a 90% or higher average on the homework, an 80% or higher average on the quizzes, or a 70% or higher um, on the in-class chapter test, what I do is I drop down this number, the final exam. So the final exam goes from being 30% of your final grade to 25% of your, I mean to 5% of your final grade. Um, so if you're performing well on the course, I make it so you don't have to worry about the final exam, really. Uh, that's basically what that means, is that you just have to take it uh, if you're doing well on the course to get the grade you basically currently have. Um, so I'm incentivizing you to do all the things that I assume a, a make um, a good student that you would do during the semester. And then grades are on a fairly typical uh, 60, 70, 80, 90 scale. Um, you need to be uh, and then class requirements and attendance policy. Obviously, this is an online class, so you do not, there is no attendance. Um, but what you need to be doing is you need to be pursuing successful completion of the course. So what that means to me is that by midterm, you have a grade that's at least 50% or higher. And then these are the topics uh, we'll be uh, conducting. Uh, some of this is a little bit about an in-person class. But these are the topics we're going to cover uh, in this course. Okay. So that's the idea of the syllabus. So now let's go back into the Blackboard course and look at this a little more in depth. So if we go over here, we've got the course home link, which will bring you back to this page. Then we've got our week one link. So if I click on week one, it lists everything you need to know for week one. So we've got the week one homework discussion. So each week you will be asked to post about a problem or topic you found difficult from this week's sections. So what you're looking for is was there a problem you didn't get right away? Is there a problem you still don't get? You know, on Tuesday, if there's a problem you get to and you don't know how to do it, this would be a great thing to post in the discussion. You will need to create a new thread and describe in detail the problem or topic you found challenging. What specifically about this topic you struggled with and if you figured it out, what helped you to do so? Okay, so the goal here is to make sure it's clear to me, the instructor, and um, your classmates what about the problem you're struggling with so that we can uh, help uh, help you out um, you can also include copies of your work as part of your post but a discussion should also be included so there's actually a couple different ways you could do this you can take a picture of your work and then type out uh, what you're struggling with you could also record a video uh, and upload a video that shows you explaining what you're struggling with the work um, you also need to respond to at least two of your classmates' threads with advice on how to approach the problem or topic or your own experience struggling with that topic or problem. So if um, one of your classmates posts a problem and you're like, oh, I figured out how to do that, that's how I did it. Explain how you did it. Or if you also struggled with it, explain why you struggled with it. Uh, and then we can all jump in to help all of you. Um, you can, once again, include copies of your work as part of your response, but a description should also be included. So it's important that you're describing um, what you're struggling with or how you did the problem. Your initial, like I said in, earlier, your initial threads are due on Wednesdays by 11.59 p.m. and your comments are due by Friday at 11.59 p.m. This is just to make sure that everybody is participating in the discussion in a timely manner. And like I said, please feel free to expand on these requirements. And also, I will also be jumping in um, to these discussions to also offer my own advice. I'm going to try and let you all uh, work together as much as possible, but I want to also make sure that you're getting your question um, answered. Beyond this discussion, you'll also have usually two section assignments due a week. Uh, so here you've got a my math I'm in orientation assignment that um, just helps you um, understand the basics of how to use my math lab if you haven't done it before. Uh, and it'll open the assignment like this, and then you click on the question you want to start on, and you can start. Uh, reading through these and completing these assignments. Um, then you'll have your pre-section and your section assignment for each one. So the pre-section assignment is the assignment that includes 
things like uh, the textbook reading, uh, video examples, uh, interactive figures to play around with, and some basic problems. And then uh, you've got the section assignment, which builds on all of that. And then at the end of each week, to uh, at the culmination, you will have uh, a quiz. So you've got, in this case, the Chapter 2 Quiz 1 uh, to go along with it. And I've got all the weeks set up, um, but I do have things set up now so you can only get into the current week's assignments. So if you click on uh, an assignment for a different week, it'll tell you what day you'll have access to that. So in week two, the assignments you'll have access next Monday. Uh, and so you can start working on them. If at any time during the semester um, something comes up, like let's say you're going to be gone for week nine uh, and not have internet access, let me know and I can give you access to these assignments ahead of time. But remember, the goal is to be working on these at the same pace as if we're in a course um, so that we can work together and discuss topics as they come up. So I think that's it um, for this course and this welcome video. Hopefully that answered all your questions. If it confused you more or you still have questions um, about how the course will work, feel free to email me uh, at scott.spaniel at morton.edu or uh, send me a message on Remind.